Hi friends, today we're going to read a story, and today's story is The Rainbow Fish. Look at how pretty this fish is. In this story, this fish is the most beautiful fish in the ocean because he has all these beautiful glittery scales. They're beautiful and glittery, see? And he doesn't want to share them, but he makes all the other fish in the ocean feel sad that they're not as beautiful as he is. Do you think he's going to share? Let's find out. Let's see if he decides to share his beautiful glittery scales. Are you ready? I have a story. What could it be? I have a story. What could it be? I have a story. What could it be? Sit right down and you will see. This story is called The Rainbow Fish. It's also in Spanish as well. So you're going to see some Spanish words on there too. Let's see. Far, far away in the open sea lived a fish, but he wasn't a normal fish. No, no, he was the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His suit of scales sparkled in all the colors of the rainbow. Look at how beautiful his scales are. The other fish admired his colorful, sparkling suit of scales. They called him Rainbow Fish. Hey, Rainbow Fish, come play with us. But Rainbow Fish just glided past them, silent and proud, letting his scales glitter. A little blue fish swam along behind him. Rainbow Fish, Rainbow Fish, wait for me. Won't you give me of your glitter scales? They're so beautiful, and you have so many. So this little fish says, please, can you give me some of your beautiful glittering scales? What do you think he's going to say? You want me to give you one of my scales? You must be kidding, Rainbow Fish cried. Get out of here. Startled, the little blue fish swam away. He was very upset and told his friends about the encounter. After that, no one wanted to have anything to do with Rainbow Fish. They swam away whenever he came near. Oh, no. So Rainbow Fish said, no way, I'm not giving you one of my scales. And that made the little blue fish sad. And he told all of his friends, Rainbow Fish doesn't want to share. So then nobody wants to play with Rainbow Fish anymore. How would that make you feel? Would it make you feel sad? It would make me feel sad too. What good is it to have beautiful glitter scales when there is no one around to admire them? Rainbow Fish was now the loneliest fish in the whole ocean. The loneliest fish. That means he was all alone and he had no friends. One day, he complained bitterly to the starfish. I'm beautiful, so how come nobody likes me? The wise octopus lives in a cage behind the coral reef. Maybe he can help you, the starfish said. Rainbow fish found the cave. It was dark and a little frightening. He could hardly see anything. Then suddenly he saw two eyes shining back at him. Do you see the eyes? Do you see them? Who do the eyes belong to? Who is that? Is that a fish? No, it's an octopus. It's an octopus. Oh my goodness, what do you think the octopus is going to say? I was expecting you, said the octopus in a deep voice. The waves brought me your story. Listen to my advice. Give each fish one of your glitter scales. Then you will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will be happy again. So the octopus is telling him to share. The octopus says, you can't be happy unless you share. Before Rainbow Fish could object, octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales, my pretty glitter scales, said Rainbow.
rainbow fish, said Apollo. Never! No! How could I be happy without them? He says, how can I be happy without my beautiful scales? Just then, he felt the light stroke of a fin nearby. The little blue fish had come back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. Won't you give me just one little glitter scale? Rainbow fish hesitated. I guess I won't really miss just one teeny tiny little glitter scale, he thought. So he's thinking, if I just give him one, I'll still have a lot, right? I could just give him one, maybe. Let's see. <gasps> Look. Carefully, Rainbow Fish plucked the smallest glitter scale from his suit. Here, you can have this one, but leave me alone now. Thank you so much, burbled the little blue fish with excitement. You're so kind, Rainbow Fish. Rainbow Fish suddenly felt very strange. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish joyfully swim away, back and forth through the water, carrying the glitter scale. Hmm, how do you think Rainbow Fish feels to share? Do you like to share? Does it make you feel good? What do you think? Do you think Rainbow Fish feels happy that he shared and made the blue fish happy? Well, let's see what happens. The little blue fish darted through the water with his glitter scale. It didn't last long before Rainbow Fish was surrounded by other fish. Everyone wanted a glitter scale. And what do you know? Rainbow Fish started handing out his scales, one after the other. He was feeling happier with each gift. The more sparkly the water became, the more he enjoyed being among the fish. Oh, so now all the other fish are asking for scales? And is he sharing? He is sharing. Look at all those fish with glitter scales now. He shared them with him, with them. How do you think that makes him feel? Look, I think it makes him feel happy. I think he feels happy to share. In the end, Rainbow Fish only had one single glitter scale left. He had given all the other glitter scales away. And he was happy, happier than he'd ever been. Come on, Rainbow Fish, come play with us, the others called out. I'm coming, Rainbow Fish replied. And off he went with the other fish. The end. So what do you think Rainbow Fish did in the story? Rainbow Fish had all these beautiful glitter scales. And what did he do to make, them hap to make himself happy? He shared all the glitter scales. That's right, he shared them. He took one glitter scale off and gave it to each fish so everybody had one. And how did he feel at the end? How did he feel after he shared all of his glitter scales? He was very happy. He was the happiest he'd ever been. Because when we share, when we share our toys and when we share our lunch or food or anything with our friends, it makes us feel very happy that we were sharing and being a good friend, right? Thank you for reading with me, and I'll be back to read another story soon.